Yo, what's up everybody, Pelotom here. Today we're gonna to be showing you my Zwift Pain Cave. Yes, it is a green room and uh, it's pretty crazy looking in there. Uh, but if you enjoy the video, do me a favor and like it below and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future updates. Without further ado, let's head on to the tour of the green room. So on the left hand wall here, you got a whole bunch of uh, cycling related photos, art, if you will. This is a Graham Watson photo from the 2004 Tour de France. Old Glory, got the guy on the horse carrying the American flag. A couple notable cyclists in this. You got Jens Voigt there and uh, Mr. Lance Armstrong himself right there in the back riding for U.S. Postal. Uh, let's take, take a step back here, give you the full effect of the wall. Football team photos, we've got uh, the Big Ten, original Big Ten mascot, some yellow jersey, my wedding photo. And I think this is kind of my prized piece of everything down here, um, art-wise anyways. So this is a painting by uh, an artist, I think, he, I think his name's Steve Dennis. He used to go by Velo Paint. And this is uh, Heinrich Hausler from the 2009 Tour de France stage that he won. I forget where it was, but it was like the worst, most miserable conditions. Freezing cold rain in a mountain. He ended up soloing to the end and winning, and this is the shot of him crossing the finish line cry crying um, with his fist raised in the air. He was riding for Cervelo test team at the time, and I was a huge Cervelo fan. And this is a one of one. Steve Dennis, the artist known as Velo Paint, made this. I think he's from Chicago. And I reached out and bought this off of him. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool drawing, painting, I guess you could call it. So yeah, that's the art wall. This here is the pain cave. And I've got two walls painted a very bright green for green screen purposes. Uh, it used to be just one wall, that wall there, and I had the desk arranged differently. But uh, this past fall, I painted both of them. And also got some green tiles to green screen out the floor for whenever it shows up in the video. We got the factor there in the background. But this is the setup. Got the kids art in the background, kind of motivational. And uh, we're sitting here with the two computers set up. The one in the middle there is the gaming PC. The one on the right is the stream PC with the nice IKEA gaming desk. We got the Logitech G923 race wheel. You can ignore my uh, poor cable management at the moment. And this is really the setup. So I got my seven on the original Wahoo Kicker Trainer. This thing's from like 2012, I believe. It's old and it's loud. I think the new ones are much quieter. I have not had the urge to buy a new one since I use a plugin called NVIDIA Broadcast and it's pretty much easily able to filter out all the background noise from the trainer while I'm riding. You guys don't even really hear it on the stream, which is nice. Um, a recent addition to the setup is the mounted fan. So I used to just have this little dinky fan that I'd set on the desk, but I just bought this, you know, $20 fan, $40 fan, whatever it is from cost, uh, from Home Depot, I should say, and uh, mounted that to the ceiling. You can see I even painted the ceiling green just to fully green screen out everything. I got a laptop in front of me, which is where I bring up the stream. Um, I'm just using an N NDI source through OBS and I just pop that up on the laptop so I can read chat and also see you know what the video looks like while I'm streaming. We got the seven here, got the 3D printed physique saddle, physique Antares saddle. I'll give you a quick, quick little view of the bike. This is a uh, this bike's from 2012 from Velosmith Bicycle Studios in Wilmette, Illinois. Seven Cycles Axiom SL custom frame. Got the Belgian blue paint scheme. King titanium bottle cages. 2012 SRAM Red mechanical. And you can see the Velosmith 10 year anniversary sticker right there. He just hit 10 years this past year. Twitch.tv slash Peloton. No more underscore. We changed that recently. I'll have to white that out or get new stickers, but got the bear tie seat stays and chain stays just to get to see a little bit of that tie look on a custom painted, custom geometry frame. And I'm rocking the Mavic Cosmic Carbone Clincher rim brake wheels. So that's what I'm riding indoors. I'm using two lights. Uh, these are just continuous lighting with like 27 inch umbrellas and that's enough lighting for the setup. 
I'm using a Panasonic Lumix G7 camera for my stream camera. And then I've got like a little face cam for when I'm sitting at the desk down there too. Logitech C920. When I'm sitting at the desk, I've also got this, uh, I think it's an Audio-Technica 2030 mic, XLR mic with a Rode boom arm. It looks pretty messy in the video here, but this is the rack where I basically have everything I need for the stream, the whole charging setup. Got a printer there as well, um, a couple bins. Top left bin there is GoPro and tripod stuff. Bottom left is like batteries, game controllers. This top right bin, which right now is crooked. This thing's getting kind of heavy. That's where all the charging goes. I put all my modems in there, my Bluetooth headsets, batteries, etc. All plug into this little power station here. And I just throw everything in there when the streams are done. We got a whole bunch of extra high capacity battery packs in there. Uh, there's my stream bag and camera down there. Cords are a mess, I apologize. And I just basically set it on the rack, plug everything in, make sure the batteries are charged, etc. So that's the setup down here. And um, yeah, the green screen, green walls really make it so I don't have to deal with setting up a curtain or setting up like this is an Elgato green screen rollout thing, I forget what they call it. I think it's just the Elgato green screen, which you know works for if you're sitting behind a desk, but you gotta pull it out, put it back every day. I said, forget it, let's just paint the wall green. And um, that's been working out great for me. So this is really the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the pain cave. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Horrible cable management and my LED lights hanging down there as well. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed it, like the video. Also follow me over on twitch.tv slash Peloton. We'll see you guys on the next ride. Peace.